Jolene, ride the wind. How does the e-bike chain work? So scooters, mobility, electric motorcycles, how does the chain work? The manufacturing, the supply chain. And I think this is a really important um, information to put out there of how it works coming from a dealer is how it works is as a dealer, we are not a franchise. We are independent entrepreneurs that decide to get into this business for whatever reason. And we put our trust in our suppliers. So Emo, uh, Daymac, Tao, whatever it is. They put their trust in their factories in China because everything comes from China. Those factories put in trust of their suppliers. So they're gathering, you know, the batteries from this place, the parts from that place, and it all gets put together and all goes through the chain. So factory supplies, factory importer or supplier like Emo, and then to the dealer. And so that's why choosing companies that have been in business longer means that they've got a better relationship with their supply, their factories in, in China. That's why new companies that come in, I'll stay away from because they need to kind of work out their kinks. So when something goes wrong, uh, the dealers are the face of the issue and we have to rely on our supplier. The supplier relies on, on their factory in China to resolve the issue. That's why things can take a lot of time and that's why some dealers will get things done quicker than others. Like I'm on my suppliers like crazy when it comes to warranty work because I know how important it is for people to have their, their bike, their unit. And that's how it works. So when somebody is, when, when shit hits the fan and something happens, we're the face and we only have so much control. In fact, we have no control. All we have is our due diligence and our, our persistence in trying to get these parts so we can get our customers back and up and running. Issues hardly ever happen with e-bikes. I gotta say the issues per hundred units, and that's how it's uh, uh, that's how it is in the in the car business world. It's, it's issues per hundred units. For example, Toyota's at twelve issues um, per hundred, which is pretty high. I would say that e-bikes are like one to two per hundred, if that. To be honest, but that's how it works. So when you're really pissed off at your dealer. And hopefully you've chosen a dealer, which is why a lot of people choose us because they know that we're gonna go to bad and get the warranty done. Um, and sometimes we're just forced to go through processes that take a lot longer. Sometimes we have to take the part and send it back to the, to the supplier so they can make sure that it's broken. And that's why my relationships with Emo and uh, now with Colo, soon Matrix, anyways, that I, I pride myself in that because I'm not gonna lie about a part. But anyways, that's how the supply chain works. And it's not regulated. There's no book, there's no training, there's nothing. So that's why newer dealers struggle for a long time. I know I did. Um, and now we got, we got it all together and it's going well and we have processes in place and good relationships with the suppliers. But ultimately, the dealer doesn't make the bike. If something goes wrong, we didn't do that. We didn't make that happen. We didn't anticipate that to happen. Uh, but we're the ones that are responsible for, for um, the customers. So that's it. Um, just if you're wondering, that's, that's how it goes. And it's all based on trust.